Hey what's up everybody it's Dallas with Gadget Hacks and today I'm going to show you how to fix the biggest memory leak in Android 5.0. Now 5.0 Lollipop introduced a ton of changes to Android and of course with new features there's always a new set of bugs. One of the biggest bugs of all was a massive memory leak caused by the new screen off animation which loaded its assets into memory but never cleared them away. Basically every time you turned your screen on and off your device's memory got a little closer to being maxed out. If left unchecked this would cause some serious issues. With that memory leak piling up day after day eventually there wouldn't be enough RAM available for your phone to run properly. For some users apps would force close, everything would be incredibly laggy and at some point the whole operating system would crash and the phone would reboot. In fact this was the main reason that Google rushed to release Android 5.1 so quickly because it fixed this so called color fade memory leak. Now to be clear this bug only affects devices that run stock Android. That's because most manufacturers fixed this bug before they pushed out their own lollipop updates. So Samsung's TouchWiz, HTC Sense, and LG's Optimus UI don't generally have this issue on Android 5.0. The same can be said about custom ROMs like Cyanochimod or Paranoid Android. But Motorola devices, Nexuses, and any Google Play Edition phones that run Android 5.0 will experience the color fade memory leak. Of course if you're using one of these devices you may have already updated to Android 5.1, in which case the bug has been fixed for you. But if you're like me, you're holding off on the 5.1 update until the exposed framework is updated to support the new operating system. And that's actually what makes this mod so awesome. It's an exposed module, so you can keep the framework installed on your 5.0 device while basically getting the biggest part of the Android 5.1 update. To get this one going, you'll need to be rooted with the exposed framework installed, of course. And you'll also need to be running Android 5.0 or 5.0.1. And if you need any help installing Exposed, just check out my article on Gadget Hacks. Then to get started, head to the download section of your Exposed installer app and search Fix Lollipop Memory Leak, then tap the top result. From here, swipe over to the Versions tab, then hit the Download button next to the most recent entry. Within a few seconds, Android's installer interface should come right up, so tap Install on this screen. When that's finished, you'll get a notification from Exposed telling you that the module hasn't been activated yet and that a reboot is needed. Just tap the Activate and Reboot button on this notification and Exposed will take care of the rest for you. When you get back up, no further setup is needed. The module basically just applied the same bug fixes that Google applied with the Android 5.1 update. Except you're still on Android 5.0, so you can still use all of your favorite Exposed modules. You'll probably notice a boost in performance right off the bat. But that's not necessarily a result of the bug fix. Because the act of rebooting your phone forces everything to be cleared out of memory. So the color fade assets are gone either way right now. But over the course of the next day or two, you should notice that the performance does not begin to suffer like it used to shortly after a reboot. And if you want to keep an eye out on your memory usage to make sure that the leak is actually plugged, go to Settings, then Apps, then swipe over to the Running tab. This gives you a nice bar graph of your RAM usage so you can see that the memory leak isn't clogging everything up anymore. In the end you get the best of both worlds, the bug fix from 5.1 and the exposed compatibility of 5.0. But for the full breakdown be sure to check out my article over on GadgetHacks.com. And as always we'd appreciate it if you would like and comment on this video and subscribe to our channel. So we'll see you again next time folks but until then happy gadget hacking.